Namaskaram people, hope you guys are doing good and today we are talking about one of the most used and important parts of his speech and that is an adjective. The very first thing to learn here is how to pronounce it because there's a whole lot of people and I'm talking about Indians, we guys pronounce it as adjective which is incorrect. That's not the correct pronunciation. We pronounce it as adjective, adjective. So the letters D and J go together as J. J. So the correct pronunciation is adjective. Now let us understand what does it mean? What is an adjective? So it's a word, sometimes a group of words, more than one, that gives information about a noun or a pronoun. It gives information about a noun or a pronoun or it modifies it. When I say it modifies a noun or a pronoun, I simply mean uh, it, it, it changes the meaning of a noun or a pronoun by giving more information about it. Let me give you some examples and make you understand. You are an amazing person. Let me write it down for you. I go, you are an amazing person. Okay, let us take one more example. Okay, she is beautiful. She is beautiful. In the very first example, my adjective is amazing, giving information about the noun person, modifying it. Now, a surprising thing is that all the articles that we have are also adjectives. All the articles that we have, which are a and the, right? These are also adjectives. I'll tell you why. For now, just understand all the articles are also adjectives. So you are an amazing person, amazing giving information about the person, how the person is talking about the quality and is telling us how many, only one person, okay? The second example, she is beautiful. Everybody is beautiful. So she is, she is beautiful. Beautiful is my adjective, right? What is it doing? Giving information about the subject, giving information about the pronoun, which is she. So from these two uh, examples, we learn two things. Number one, it comes just before a noun. As you can see, it comes just before the noun. Number two, or it comes at the end of a sentence. She is beautiful. Beautiful is my adjective coming at the end of the sentence. We can take one more example. Uh, you are hardworking. You are hard working. All right. You are hard working. So here hard working is my adjective coming at the end of the sentence. So it either comes before a noun. Okay. Or at the end of a sentence. What does it do? It gives information about the noun or the pronoun. It modifies it, right? It paints a vivid picture in our mind. Makes the sentence looks informative, right? Good, colorful. This is what an adjective does. Now, when we talk about an adjective, we're talking about a descriptive adjective all the time and using it all the time, subconsciously, right? So let us understand. Let us begin with a descriptive adjective. Guys, a descriptive adjective is an adjective that is used to describe a noun or a pronoun. Now the question is, how do we describe a noun or a pronoun? We describe a noun or a pronoun using opinions or qualities we also call, right? Like honest, uh, honest, smart, beautiful, good looking, hardworking, right? Size, big, small, tiny, it's a big house, it's a small room, right? age new old young uh, it's a new it's a new room it's a new concept right uh, he's an old person right then we have shape round oval square right it's a round table something like that then we use colors red pink white black all the colors that we have right origin or nationality french indian chinese i love indian food you love chinese food i like french culture something like that uh, then we uh, describe using materials uh, like uh, silk, cotton, leather. It's a leather bag. I'm wearing a silk sari, something like that, right? Then we use purpose, office, speaking, school. Now you must be confused that all these words, office, speaking, school, seem to be a noun, right? They are. But here, when we use them as a descriptive adjective, they act as an adjective. For an example, he is my office friend. He is my office friend. Office is generally a noun, a common noun, but here he is, a, he is my office friend. Office is used uh, as an adjective to describe the person. 
friend what kind of friend office friend all right uh, i am giving a speaking test i am giving a speaking test so speaking here is used as an adjective to describe a noun now guys very important thing when you use two adjectives from us from the same category uh, let's suppose opinion when you use two adjectives from the same category you separate them using and the conjunction and let me give you an example if i use two adjectives from the category opinion all right uh, let's use uh, smart and intelligent okay smart and intelligent so i go you are a smart and and intelligent person my writing i i know i i suck at my writing you are a smart and intelligent person so here i've used two adjectives descriptive one from the category opinion right smart and adjective so to separate them i have used the conjunction and always remember this when you use two adjectives from a same category it could be a size also let me give you an example it is a black and white tv or television it's a black and white television i cannot say it's a black white television that is incorrect right so always use the conjunction and when you're using two adjectives from the same category now when you use more than two adjectives from the same category what is the scene how does the sentence look like let us talk about it let's suppose i use three adjectives from the category opinions okay let's let's make a sentence uh, you are a smart smart i'll use a comma here intelligent all right again i'll use a comma and uh sorry you are smart intelligent and hard working person hard working person okay you are a smart intelligent and hard working person so when you use more than two adjectives from the same category you separate them using commas and before the last adjective we use and we use and but when you use two adjectives or more than that from different categories you're not supposed to use commas or and let me give you an example um i go she is a big brown girl she is a big brown girl so i've used two adjectives here technically three i is also an adjective so i've used big from the category opinion uh, sorry from the category size and i've used brown from the category uh, color right so see i have not used and the conjunction and to separate them right she is a big brown girl that's how it goes so always keep this thing in your mind now i have a task for you guys all right i'm giving you a statement the das guy is my best friend the das guy is my best friend now in the blank you have to use three adjectives and that are white american big white american big okay you have to use these three adjectives in the right order tell me how the sentence is going to look like you can pause the video here okay now let us do it together so the statement was the dash guy is my best friend or is my friend okay and we had options i'm i'm going to rough it we had options like white big and american right so the correct order is this always remember when you use more than one adjective from different categories this is the order to follow first an opinion then size then age then shape then color origin material purpose so uh, which one are we going to use first right are we going to use big which is size because there is no opinion here right big is the size so i'm going to use big first the big after that i have color color comes before origin or nationality so i'm going to use the big uh white and then i have origin or nationality which is american the big white american guy is my friend the big 
वाइट अमेरिकन गाय इज माई फ्रेंड ऑल द एजेक्टिव आर कमिंग फ्रॉम डिफरेंट डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज सो आई कैन नॉट यूज कॉमर्स और एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट और वेन यू यूज मोर देन वन एजेक्टिव फ्रॉम डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज ऑलवेज फॉलो दिस पैटर्न ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दिस एंड बिफोर दिस वी यूज अ डिटर्मिनल before all of these categories we use a determiner okay determiner and what is a determiner a determiner i mean a n the this that these those here's the complete list of determiner before all these categories of a descriptive adjective we use a determiner let me give you an example and make you understand how so i go uh you are a smart person okay i can say you are a smart uh smart big person or something like that right you're a smart uh white person something like that so i've used a which is a determiner before smart okay and which also brings me to talk about a very important rule when you have a singular countable noun when you have a singular countable noun that means a noun which is one in number which is singular and can be counted you always use a determiner before it so person is a singular countable noun one and can be counted so i have to use a determiner i can use you are the smart person i can use you are uh, you are my smart person you are his smart person something like that here's the complete list of determiners i have to use any appropriate determiner here i can take one more example here uh she has dash big dog so dog is a singular countable noun right one in number it can be counted so i need to use a determiner before a dog so i'll say she has a dog she has the dog she has uh your dog my dog this dog that dog but i have to use any determiner always keep this thing in your mind that whenever you have a singular countable noun it has to be modified with a determiner so before all the all these categories we use a determiner very important now a descriptive adjective has three different degrees and that are a positive degree a comparative degree and a superlative degree let us talk about them guys only a descriptive adjective has all these three degrees positive comparative and superlative apart from a descriptive adjective no other adjective has these three degrees okay always keep this thing in your mind now let us talk about a positive degree a comparative degree and a superlative degree we'll start with a positive degree of an adjective what is it we use a positive degree of an adjective to simply describe a noun or simply give information about a noun or a pronoun okay not to compare it with any other noun or pronoun when we use a comparative degree of an adjective we use it to compare it with another noun or pronoun so when we when we are using it there is always a comparison going on between two objects okay and when we use a superlative degree of an adjective we use it to describe a noun or a pronoun to show the highest quality of that noun or the lowest quality okay to to show the highest quality or the lowest quality all right we've got some examples let us understand through some examples smart you are a smart person yes you are now all of a sudden you become smarter than me you always have been smarter than me all right happy smart smarter smartest wise wiser wisest he is a wise person he is wiser than his brother he is the wisest uh, sibling in his family okay big bigger biggest all right it's a big house it is bigger than your house right it is the biggest house in my colony long longer longest so most of the adjectives are changed into comparative and superlative degrees by simply adding er and est at the end of them i said most not all some of the adjectives do not follow this pattern and they follow a different pattern and that is they get changed into comparative and superlative degrees by adding more and most before them some of them are beautiful expensive splendid right beautiful more beautiful most beautiful expensive more expensive most expensive splendid more splendid most splendid so we're using more before a comparative degree and we are using most before uh, a superlative degree but the question is 
How is it happening? Why is it happening? See, whenever you have three or more than three syllable in your adjective, we use an adjective that follows the, this pattern. Okay, so beautiful has three syllable. All right, beautiful. All right, that's why we're saying more beautiful, most beautiful. We can't say beautifuler or beautifulest. Okay. But again, there are some adjectives that have two syllables in them and still follow this pattern, right? Uh, uh, examples would be bizarre, more bizarre, most bizarre. Bizarre has only two syllables, okay? Now, there are some words that do not follow any pattern at all, all right? They stick out in a completely different way. They say we are going to do what we want to do. Some of them are good, bad, less. Good, better, best. Not gooder, goodest or more good or more uh, most good. Some people say like this, but that's incorrect. Never do that. Bad words, worst. They do not follow any pattern at all, right? So very important you, you understand this. And one more thing, it's a rule. Before a superlative degree of an adjective, we always use the. He's the smartest person in his class. You are the most beautiful girl uh, in my house something like that. So we always use The adjective da before a superlative degree of an adjective very important Now guys, there are some words That do not have all these three uh, Degrees for example major minor interior Major it's a major project. It cannot get any more major or less major. It's a major project, right? So it does not have a competitive degree. You cannot say it's it's a more major project. I have a more major project or he has the most major project. You cannot say that, okay? So some of these uh, words or adjectives are major, minor, interior. I'll give you more, okay? Don't worry. Now, when we look at some words or some adjectives as senior, junior, inferior, superior, these are used in a competitive way, okay? So. You're always senior to somebody. You're always junior to somebody. All right. So it is always used uh, as a comparative degree of an adjective. It does not have a superlative form or a positive form. Always keep this thing in your mind. And after senior, we do not use the, which we generally do with comparative degrees of adjectives. Uh, he is wiser than you or something like that. Or he is smarter than uh, me. But when we use senior, junior, superior, inferior, we follow them with two. Okay, he is senior to him. I am junior to you. Uh, this girl is superior to her or whatever, right? Always follow them with two. Again, there are some words that, that are used as a superlative degree. They do not have a positive or a competitive form. Some of them are perfect unique total entire impossible if something is unique can it get any more unique it is already unique nothing is like that that's why we're calling it unique it cannot get any less unique or more unique if something is perfect it has reached the highest height or level it cannot get more perfect or less perfect understand i'll give you the complete list here is the complete list uh, of some of these adjectives that do not have all the three forms. All right, guys, now let us talk about articles. As I told you in the beginning of the lesson that articles also act as adjectives. It's time to understand that. So in English, we've got two types of articles, definite and indefinite. The is the only definite article that we have and A and N are the indefinite articles. Why do we use a definite article? We use it to make a noun particular or specific. A noun, not a pronoun. We use it to make a noun particular, not a pronoun. Always keep this thing in your mind. It is not used to make a pronoun particular. It is used to make a noun particular. And A and N are used to show a number which is one. Okay. Let me give you an example to make you understand. So I'm gonna rough this and I'm also gonna rough this, all right? Okay, so I say I bought a pen and an apple yesterday. I bought a pen 
and an apple yesterday. The pen is lost and the apple is eaten. The pen is lost and the apple is eaten. I bought a pen. Pen is a singular countable noun. How many pen? Only one pen. So, a is modifying the noun pen. How many? Only one. Giving information about the noun pen. One pen. I bought a pen and an apple. Apple is a singular countable noun. How many apples? Only one apple. That's why we've used n. Vowel, right? Vowel sound. I bought a pen and an apple yesterday. The pen is lost. Which pen is lost? The pen that I bought yesterday. The pen. So, da is making pen specific, particular, giving information about the pen. Which pen is lost? The pen that I bought yesterday is lost. All right. The pen is lost and the apple is eaten. Which apple? Which apple is eaten? The apple that I bought yesterday is eaten not any random apple so da is giving information about apple now so this is what articles do and that's why we call them adjectives that's why they're used as adjectives all right hope you understood that now i've got a task for you guys these are the questions all you gotta do is fill in the blanks with the options provided all right all you gotta do is options are there just Fill in the blank with the options provided and write in the comment section below. I'll, I'll come and check your answers. You can pause the video here and do this. All right, so I hope you've done this. So that's uh, about the video, guys. We've come to the end of it. I hope you learned something new today. I hope you enjoyed watching this lesson. If you did, hit the like button, share this video with your friends. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel so that you can watch more videos, upcoming videos. And I'll see you very soon with a new topic. Till then, keep learning. Have fun. I'm out. Namaskar.